Distributed Database System presented by Rupali Banerjee. So today our topic is two-phase commit protocol. Recovery in database. Database systems like any other computer systems are subject to failures but the data stored in it must be available as and when required. When a database fails, it must possess the facilities for first recovery. It must also have atomicity that is either transaction are completed successfully and committed that is the effect is recorded permanently in the database or the transaction should have no effect on the database. Recovery technique is more complicated in case of distributed database system than in a centralized system. Failures related to distributed databases are loss of messages means if I want to send one message from one site to another site there may some loss of messages occur. Failure of site at which sub transactions is running any site can be failed. Failure of communication link link can also be failed. So recovery system must ensure atomicity that is all or none. Two phase commit protocol. In distributed transaction that is the global transaction follow one property that is atomicity all or none either all operation all transaction will be completed or none. So if we achieve this atomicity then this atomicity helps to maintain consistency of our distributed database. Two phase commit protocol ensures atomic commitment of distributed transactions. It checks whether all sites involved in the execution of distributed transactions are ready to commit before their effect are made permanent. Means all the sites which are involved for the transaction should commit, otherwise the effect are not made permanent. Means when all transactions are ready to commit, then only they can commit, otherwise not. There are two modules, one is coordinator and second one is participant. So who is coordinator? The process at the site where the transaction originates and which controls the execution. So the originating site there, that site is the coordinator site. And who are the participants? Processes at the other site that participate in executing the transactions means all other sites are participant site. As the name suggests, two-phase commit protocol has two phases. First is voting protocol and second is decision protocol. So what is voting protocol? In this protocol, participating sites vote on whether they are ready to commit the transaction or not. And what is decision protocol? In this protocol, the coordinator site decides whether the transaction can be committed or has to be about it. Take one example. There is one transaction T and it is initiated at site S1, S2, S3 and S4. Here coordinator site is say S1, this site and remaining all other sites are participating site that is S2, S3 and S4. First phase is voting phase. Coordinator site here write T prepare in its own log. T prepare message means what? It is the message that will send to all participating site that S1 that is the coordinator site now ready to commit. So that message is sent to all participating sites. If S2 say the site S2 is ready to commit then it write in its own log T ready message. For S3, it also write in its own log T ready message means they are ready to commit. So they send that message to coordinator site. See here T ready message is sent to coordinator site. Now, if say site S4 is not ready to commit, then T not ready is written to the log and here it sent to the coordinator site the message T about that is S4 is not ready to commit. We know that because two-phase commit protocol ensures atomic commitment 
for distributed transactions because one of the site is not ready at all to commit so the transaction will be about it next phase is decision phase say if the situation is like this all participating sites are ready to commit that is they all send ready message to the coordinator site then say all participating sites send ready to message to the coordinator site so all are ready to commit so coordinator site write in its own log t commit and then send that message to all participating site that you can commit and then all participating site can commit and they write t commit to its own log another situation may occur that there is one message not ready t from any of the participating site then coordinator site writes in its own log t about why so because we already learned that in case of distributed transaction two phase commit protocol ensures atomic commitment in case of distributed transactions so s1 write in its own log t about and send that message to all other participating site and all our other participating site now write in its own log t about message and will be about it diagram for two phase commit protocol before learning this diagram first we will discuss two points first one is we already learned coordinator aborts a transactions if and only if at least one participant votes to abort it number one second is coordinator commits a transactions if and only if all participants vote to commit it now we will discuss about the flow chart of this two phase commit protocol so there are two site one is coordinator site another is participant site we already learned that coordinator always initiates the transaction so initial transaction now coordinator want to commit so write begin commit in its own log and send one message to the participant site that you should prepare to commit now after getting this message participant site start its transaction and coordinator site goes to wait state that is waiting for the reply from the participating site if participating site ready to commit and if it is not ready to commit then it write in its own log abort and take one unilateral abort and goes to abort state it also send vote abort message to the coordinator site that i am aborting and i am sending one vote abort message to you but if participating site is ready to commit then if it is yes then write ready in its own log and then go to the ready state and here it sends vote commit message to the coordinator site that is i am ready to commit i can commit now now after getting this message coordinator site checks whether there is any no message means whether there is any vote about message if there is no vote about message then coordinator site write commit in its own log and goes to the commit state so it write in its own log end of transaction now if there is at least one vote about message then transaction will be about it so coordinator site writes in its own log about and then goes to the about state and also here also it writes in its own log end of transaction now participant site can either get any of the two type message one is either about message that is the global about message from the coordinator site another is vote commit message from the coordinator site either global about message or vote commit message now participant site checks type of message if it is commit then it writes in its own log commit and send the acknowledgement to the coordinator that i will be committed and goes to the commit state now if the message is global about message 
then participant site writes in its own log about and send the acknowledgement to the coordinator. In this way, two-phase commit protocol will work. If failure of participating site occurs, means if participating site fails before sending the DT, means before sending the DT, participating site fails, so there is no message from the participating site, so transaction will be aborted. But if site fails after sending the DT, then there is no problem, transaction will proceed in a normal way. Recovery process when participating site restarts after failure. So, after failure when participating site again restart, then first log file of the participating site is checked. Now, if in the log file there is written T commit message, then we have to redo T. And if in the log file it is written T about message, then we have to undo T. So, what is the meaning of redo T and undo T? In case of redo T, redo T means using a log record sets the data item specified in log record to the new value. And undo T means here using a log record sets the data item specified in log record to the old value. And this acknowledgement is sent to the coordinator site. If in log record there is one message that T ready means when the participating site is ready after that failure occurs, then, then site should contact the coordinator site to determine whether to commit or to abort the transaction. But if there is no record in the log, then undo T and about the transaction. Failure of coordinator site. If failure of coordinator site occurs, then all the participating site communicate with each other to determine the status of T. That is the transaction status. Now, if any site got the message T commit, then transaction has to be committed. And if any site already got the message T about, then transaction has to be about it. But if there is no T ready in log, then site has not voted for T, so about. If no case holds, means no site got the message T commit or T about, or there is no signal for T ready, then, then participating site waits until the coordinator site is recovered. Till this decision, all participating sites are in blocking stage. Recovery process when coordinator site restarts after failure. First log file is checked. If in log file there is T commit then redo T. If in, in log file there is T about then undo T. Redo T means what? Redo T means using a log record sets the data value specified in log record to a new value and undo T means using a log record sets the data item specified in log record to the old value. And coordinator site share this message to all the participating site. Now, if in log record there is T prepared, then coordinator site abort the transaction and communicate to all participating site that the transaction is aborted. There is one disadvantage in case of two-phase commit protocol. The major disadvantage of the two-phase commit protocol is faced when the coordinator site failure may result in blocking because all participating site has no message about to abort or to commit or to ready. There is no message about that. So, a decision either to commit or abort transaction T may have to be postponed until coordinator recovers. This stage is called blocking stage. Types of questions comes in your university exam. Go through this question and if you are facing any problem, write me in the comment section. I will definitely give you reply.
for getting more and more updates please please like share and subscribe my channel that's all for today thank you